Hi everyone, my name is Robert, Robbie, one dude, person, bro, somebody, anybody, and I would like to talk to you about a little project of mine, a short film titled Juniper. It's so short I can't really show you much, but despite the short duration, I do hope that it serves its purpose. Well, this project has been formed from various ideas that I have been accumulating over the past few years, and my master's program acted as a catalyst to help bring my imagination come to life. What's amazing about this idea is that it has formed me to do something else, something a little bit more purposeful. The main premise of this film is how nature takes over the world because of the many terrible things we have been doing to it. The way I want to do this project is through a process called rotoscoping, specifically the traditional kind. Rotoscoping is a form of animation where images are traced over live action footage, giving real life things a more animated look. And when I mean live action footage, I literally mean every single frame of the shot. Does that make sense? Case in point, if I pause this video, and then I pause it again, and then I pause it again, pause it again, pause it again, 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 again. That's literally every frame of the video. Like, literally every frame of the video. And that means and you probably get the gist. You might not see it as much these days simply because there's just a lot of software and hardware which makes the process a lot more easier to do. That being said, it's not that traditional anymore because it's a lot more modern. So why exactly am I trying to make my life difficult by choosing to make traditional a lot more easier? Uh, yeah. Well, one of the main reasons why I chose traditional rotoscoping is simply because it's very experimental and there's just so much you can do about it. And that's where the fun part starts. Based on research that I have done in the past few months, gathering a lot of people into a team and working together is one way to ease the process of traditional rotoscoping. And to make it cheaper, you're not going to use any new equipment or any new paints or paint brushes and whatnot. Well, maybe some, but not a lot. But mostly things that you literally find around the corners of your house, like that piece of paper lying just behind you. You may not see it now, but it'll be there in a second for sure. So how does this exactly work? Hmm. Reusing or repurposing. You may have heard of the term reduce, reuse, and recycle. Taking that idea into mind, we can definitely use traditional rotoscoping through the use of things that are lying around your house. And a lot of other things like leaves lying in the floor or outside your porch, or even newspapers or plastic bottles that you might find lying around everywhere else. And by using all these random things, in turn you create something a lot more purposeful. In this case, a short film called Juniper, which is all about the environment. In other words, all you really need to do at this point is just come and give me all the trash you have. Yeah. <laughs> so once you bring along all the pieces of newspaper and plastic bottles, we literally cut them into small pieces and then we stick them on top of paper and then we create something that is sort of like a hybrid of rotoscoping slash stop motion. It's gonna be cool for sure. And it's bound to look very, very messy and it is gonna be very, very messy, but that's the fun part of it. It's like a clean mess. Like, we're messing things up, but we're cleaning at the same time. It's really, really something. And it doesn't have to be plastic bottles or newspapers that you find around yourselves. You could literally bring along anything that you have that you can stick onto paper, such as cloth, dried peels of bananas, fruit, vegetables. And yes, I know it sounds quite disgusting, but what is more disgusting is if we throw our trash everywhere else and it ends up in the ocean, gets eaten by fish, gets eaten by us, and then it kills us. That escalated quickly, didn't it? <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I encourage you to help us out with this project. If it isn't to help in creating this film, at least try to help out the environment. Every donation of trash that you donate to us will be used in the film. And if it doesn't get used, it will be segregated and disposed of in a proper manner. And yes, the only donation we need from you is literally your trash, your garbage. Yeah. And possibly your time. If you want to help us out, please come down here in SE Institute Dubai from the 18th of June up until July 1. However, that can extend simply because we have some holidays here and there. From 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day, except on weekends, because I need to rest too. Yes. And that's you bringing along your trash and helping us out as well. If you have some time to spare, you, yes, you, and maybe the person next to you, if you are sitting with someone else, can come along and help animate. That literally means that you can be a part of the film, not only just by donating trash, 
but literally being part of the animation team. Every frame that you create, that's 2,880 frames of the film, yeah, is gonna be credited and your name is gonna be part of the film. And literally anyone can join the project. The whole film is a lot like a coloring book and every page of that coloring book will be colored by you. And you. And you. The actual production of the film already took place a month ago, meaning the only thing we'll need to do at this point is to stick things on top of paper. Every 2,880 frames of it. That being said, no paper will go wasted down here. It will be used and anything that is left over will be disposed of properly. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or concerns or maybe any, anything you want to speak to me about, you may email me through this small email address down here. I'm not sure if you can see it somewhere around the side. r.perena at sedubai.com. We're still preparing your social media pages for this specific project, but for the time being, you may follow me at I am Rude Elf on Instagram. Check up on all the updates that we have for this actual film. And of course, if you can, please help us change the world one frame at a time. Thank you.